Welcome to Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, sponsored by the power of Red Ark. Now today we're looking at the signature Iridium 13-foot camper. At under $53,000, this puts hybrid living within the reach of a modest budget. But this camper's about more than just money saving. With quality Australian componentry and a TARDIS-like interior. But let's see what the judges had to say. So we've just had a look at the signature Iridium 13. It's an imported hybrid, a bit of a focus on trying to keep as much Australian stuff that can fit to it once it's landed. Targeting retirees and apparently younger couples are starting to come through. Do you think it fits that market? Um, I think they're two very different markets with two very different needs. The retirees are going to love it. It's spacious, it's got lots of internal amenities, it opens right up uh, and it looks the goods. What about innovation, Dan? What stood out to you? Uh, the big thing for me with the innovation, it's just how seamlessly everything is integrated into it. It's, you know, every camper trailer has lithium, this has good lithium, you know. Every camper trailer has a kitchen, this has a good kitchen. It's really just about building the best wheel they can possibly build rather than trying to reinvent it for these guys. So what about um, self-sufficiency, Glenn? Like, if you read the specs sheet, there's a lot going on. What do you reckon about the sum of all its parts? This hybrid is definitely designed uh, to go off-grid and um, to remote destinations with plenty of power, good solar. Uh, the water is a bit of an issue because you know, it's only got 200 litres, which I think is not quite as much as what most people would like. But um, yeah, I think definitely this is uh, definitely, it's going to do what it's designed to do. And then looking underneath it and through the inside, um, what about the quality of finish? How'd that go for you? Oh, look, I couldn't pick too many faults, actually. Um, looked great inside, um, good underneath. Uh, I think about the only thing that I sort of picked up was that they use stickers on their, on their light uh, switches and all that sort of stuff, which, you know, they fall off and suddenly you don't know what it, what it does. Until you flick the switch. Exactly. In terms of towing it, we towed it behind a 200 series Sahara, uh, which is a cheetah car. Like, if you can't tow well with a 200, there's something wrong. But that trailer towed bloody well. Um, and the guys say that it's got Timken bearings and a parallel and rated to 3,000 kilos, so they should last quite a while. I do like the McHitch, I do like the Arc 750, Stone Guard was in a good place. So off road, yeah, you're gonna have to pick your lines and maybe carry a bit of momentum, but I thought it would be okay. Um, ease of use, like hybrids, you, you can't get easier to use in hybrids. You know, you just get inside and pop the top and uh, you're basically done, or even don't pop the top. If all you wanna do is duck inside and go to the bathroom or grab something out of the shelves. With poles though, on that awning, Annex, you know, it's maybe 10 minutes to set the whole thing up if you're staying for a week. So there's a little bit of consideration there in terms of time. But those Annex or awning add-ons, that wall kit, adds really good protection around the kitchen from a wind point of view. So I think you should be able to cook at that kitchen, which that outstanding kitchen, um, without trouble even on a windy day if you set it all up. Kath, putting all that together, um, what do you think of the value for money? Well, it's interesting, Tim, because this was the least expensive of the 13-foot uh, hybrids that we looked at. At 52,880, this is clearly targeted at a market with a relatively modest budget. Um, and it's providing all those features we come to expect in an imported hybrid of this type. It's the attention to detail here in the Iridium team the, the, to get as many Australian and trusted brands into this camper as you possibly can. And, it's, and you could see it wherever you looked on that vehicle, you know, the, it was the build, it was the wiring, it was the fit out, you know, the, the seals worked well, the wiring was neatly tucked away, the locks worked well. Uh, and basically when you're making an investment like this in a camper, you know, 50, nearly $53,000, that's still real money. And this gives you the sort of confidence that you may be looking for. And is that its X factor? Like, is that what stands it out? Is that some of its parts or is it more? It's, it obviously, this doesn't scream X Factor. I mean, when we asked the team about, you know, where does it sit in their mind? And they were saying, well, look, for, for us, it's the fact that we're always on the lookout for ways to make a, a solid, reliable camper even more applicable to the Australian conditions. And that was clear. This was a camper that was deceivingly well appointed. And inside, it was spacious, it was airy, there was plenty of storage, there was a comfortable bed. It's a straightforward camper, it's for a discerning buyer but it's for somebody who doesn't plan to take out a second mortgage just to make their great outdoors experience a reality. Pretty much, I think for me, the X factor was these guys know their product. What bearings are you using? Oh, they're Timken. What style? They're parallel. What grease? You know, they just, they know their product inside and out. And that gave me a lot of confidence with it. You know, I agree with that. Mark and Aaron, actually the two of them, they both use those things constantly and constantly adapt them. And those Australian added parts, like your, your um, Arc Jockey, your Red Arc, your Dometic interior parts, 
your AC and your Lovells, they've all got longer warranties, like sort of three to five years for most of them. So you just get a bit more peace of mind as well. Mm. It's a business of you spend your money once and you're not going back into your pocket six months and 12 months later to get it right. So that's the Signature Iridium 13 at Camper Trailer of the Year 2022, sponsored by the power of Redarc. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you subscribe and like it and head to our channel for the other 10 videos from this year's shootout.